Hi, how are you? This is Bruna Roy Crafty Hands. Bruna Roy Crafty Hands. Okay, so today we're going to be doing um, some craft for corn, of course. And um, we're going to be doing two crafts. Um, we're going to be making a hairpin and uh, we're going to be making some um, earrings also now the hairpin we're going to be making the case the casing for the pin for the hairpin okay um which i'm going to show you okay now the hairpin we've seen many times at the store especially at the 99 cent stores which I love going to and uh, I love buying my craft uh, materials you know anyway uh, if I don't go elsewhere but anyway okay so I'm gonna show you the hair pin we're, we're gonna be making the casing for this is the hair pin see you've seen them so you bought them also. Papi, si necesita pasar, pasa. See that? Okay. Alrighty. So, we could use it like this. And they look very pretty, you know. Um, with nice uh, silver earrings, you know. They all... Um, look very very beautiful and um but we're gonna embellish the hairpin okay and we're gonna um make it look even more prettier uh, especially if you want it to um how do you call it? Uh, match your outfit you know um if you you know if you want to give it color okay so i don't want to talk too much i'm just going to show you the ones i made okay now i made a couple okay now these are the casing for the hairpin where i mean this is the casing for the silver hairpin that i just showed you isn't it pretty i only made one of each okay now but today i'm gonna be making the other one um hopefully if i have time i'll make two of one of each of these to have the pair for each side of your hair you know okay and i think i'll do this one and this one as you can see see that isn't it pretty See that? See that? Isn't it pretty? Nice and shiny. Now this casing I made from bendable cardboard. Okay, in which I wrapped in um uh, how do you call it? contact paper. This one I wrapped with um contact paper and I Put transparent tape on top so it could be shiny and this one I um, wrapped it with um, a how do you call it? with um, with this uh, uh, um, tape okay with duct tape I always forget the name of it okay with black duct tape and um, red um, electrical tape. See how pretty it looks? Very simple, but it looks very pretty. And um, I'm gonna show you this one, how it goes, okay? Now I'm gonna turn it over. You see the, the pin that I showed you? All you have to do is just make the, you know, when you make the casing, uh, you have to um, 
cut out a slit right here you see so that you could put the hairpin through okay see that see that and like I said the cardboard has to be bendable because so that it could open so that the uh, hairpin could open and close you know so that the um, casing could just bend with, along with the hairpin. Okay? And that's how it is. And they're all the same. Let's see. See? Okay, let's see. Like that, you see? And like this. And as well, like this. Yeah. And like that. Okay, now. Um, I try my best to make the underneath part, okay, where the hairpin goes to, uh -huh, where the hairpin uh, goes, goes, um, I try to make it as neat as possible, but, um, what you have to concentrate more is, uh, the part that, um, shows okay which is the upper part okay like I said you have to be very neat and make things pretty if you're gonna make them and uh, but like I said just uh, concentrate more on the top part which is the one that shows the bottom the underneath part yes it has to be neat but if it's not that pretty the don't don't worry too much because nobody's gonna see that part okay so let me stop talking. Oh, in regards to the hair, the casing for the hairpin. Okay, let me stop talking about it. Now, the, I'm gonna show you the um, the earrings we're, we're gonna be making. I have my two earrings. Where is the other one? I don't know if it's not one thing, it's another. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, here it is. Okay, now, see that? Okay. Okay, see this? Little earring, this loop earring. See how pretty? Very um, simple, but uh, pretty. Nevertheless. Okay, see that? Okay, now this we're gonna be making from um, paper clips that come in different colors. See these, okay, and that's it. This is this. This one is a little different, but nevertheless, the same. Okay, okay. Now this one um, is I like making the earrings because this one is wrapped with uh, some you know with uh, colored plastic you know and you don't have to do anything with it you don't have to color it or whatnot okay okay so let's start because uh, I don't want to take a lot of space in my video okay so I'm gonna pause the camera and come back. Okay, hi, I'm back. Okay, so we're going to start making the hair clip casing. So I'm going to be doing this one. Okay? Okay, to make the... You know, to make the set. Okay, so now, the like I said, it's made out of bendable cardboard. Okay, now this is... The cardboard that I uh, used was from the Priority... Uh, mail envelope that um, you could uh, get at any um, post office okay you're not doing anything wrong if you take one a couple okay so I'll I cut I cut out a, a rectangle um, shape um, 
cardboard, okay? Um, I cut out the cardboard in shape of a triangle. Yes. Okay, now, but well, we have to make sure, I'm not going to give you the, the, the size, okay? The measurements, okay? But you have to make sure is that, okay, now this is the length, right? And this is the width. You have to make sure that the width, okay, the width of your cardboard covers is a little longer than the clip, okay? If you want to make it a little longer, you know, with, with one, see? Then you could do some. See, because you have to make sure that when you insert the clip, the hair clip, it does not show underneath in any of the edges okay now so we got that straight and then the length part right um just do it long enough so that you can um fold it like this okay you can fold it in the middle like that Okay, when you fold it in the middle, right, you're going to fold it like this and like that. Okay, and you crease it, okay, before you um, cover it, you wrap it with either duct tape or with contact paper. Okay, now after you crease it and all that, right, what we're going to do is um, cover the cardboard with duct tape or um, contact paper with whichever you please okay and whatever color of contact or duct tape you prefer it's all up to you okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cover the cardboard with black tape and I'll be back Okay, hi, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, so I covered the, the cardboard with black duct tape, as you can see. Okay, now what I'm, the part that goes inside, you don't have to worry too much about that. See, because it's going to go like this, like this, and like this. Okay, so this part is going to go inside, so we really don't have to worry about that. Okay, now what we're going to do is this. Oops. Now remember I told you, now after you cover the cardboard um, with the tape you want you have to make a slit so that the hair clip can go through like we did here okay you can see so that's what we're gonna be doing okay so but before you do that okay now let's see you have to measure, I mean, you have to lay down the hair clip on top of the um, casing. The cardboard is going to be the casing, like that. Um, now, like I said, the part that shows, that's going to show, make sure it's the part that looks the nicest, okay? Okay, that looks the nicest. Uh, the one that is going to go underneath, which is the one that you're going to make the slit um, on, you don't have to worry too much about that. 
So now I'm going to choose. Okay, I'm going to choose this side to be the upper part, the one that showed. Now this part, the one that I choose to be the underneath and the one I'm going to choose to make the slit. I don't have to worry too much about that. Now, what I do have to worry, I make sure I make the slit in the proper place. Okay, you see that? Now, the, the, okay, make sure, like I said, that you lay down the hair clip on top of the um, underneath part. And making sure that uh, it does not come out in any way. You see? It has to be in the middle of your cardboard like that. Okay, in other words, you have to have the same um, amount of um, space from both edges, from here and from here. Okay? See? And you see? Okay, now that, now that we get that straight. Now, what we're gonna do is this. Okay, take a pen, okay, and you're going to make sure when you, okay, you're, you're going to make little marks um, where you're going to uh, make the slit from. The slit is going to be from here to here, okay? In other words, let's see. From here, okay, from here to here, okay, and make sure that the indentations you make, the marks, are right along this here. Don't make them here, make them here. Here, here, not here, but here, and here, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Okay? Mm. Okay, like that. Move that here, move it that there. Move that here, okay, now, when I do that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open the um the cardboard, okay? Making sure that I only cut the slit on the cardboard that needs to be cut, okay? Which is this one where I put see those two little dots there. That's where I'm gonna make the um slit, you see. Is how you fold it. Fold it in half. All right. Make make the crease. All right. Fold it like that and like this and like that. Okay. And you only cut it where the little dots that you drew. Okay. Are on the um side of the cardboard that needs to that you need to cut the slit which is here see on this side here okay leaving these alone okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut I'm gonna pause the camera and I'm gonna cut the slit hi I'm back okay I cut the slit where I wanted it to go okay where I wanted it to go at Okay, to put the, the, um, the hair clip through. See what I did? Now, what I'm going to do, oh, make sure that you don't cut more than what you need to, okay? Because then the hair clip is not going to, um, when you 
For the truth, it's not, it, it's gonna move back and forth. It's not gonna be sturdy and tight, okay? So, okay, so let's do this. Let me hold the cardboard <clears throat> again. And this is how it's gonna be. Let me see if it fits correctly, properly. Let me see, like that. Oh, you see? It's gonna be like this. See? Perfect. Nice and that easy. See? And we're not done yet. Okay? Now we're going to decorate the... How do you call The um, casing. Now what we have to do now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna um so that the um cardboard stays close like that right I'm gonna put some transparent tape okay that's what I'm gonna do okay Okay, what I'm gonna do okay let me put the tape now so that you could see me okay alrighty now how am I gonna do this hmm okay so I'm just gonna put the transparent tape okay um on part of the um cardboard casing making sure that I don't cover the slit okay with the tape okay. Try to make sure when you tape, when you put either any tape, whether it's done, um, what do you call duct tape or the um, transparent tape or whatever tape, make sure it's nice and neat, okay? It's not wrinkly. Okay. 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 See? This is the underneath part. Now this is the the slit where I put where I cut the slit in. So I need to put um more tape okay um at least at this end here okay so i'll be back okay hi i'm back okay um 
I covered uh, the um, hair clip casing completely, you know, it's not finished yet, I have to embellish it, you know, I see um, there's a couple of um, air bubbles, you know, Happy puedes pasar, no tiene que... Ay, me ha dicho 50 veces eso. Ok, pa. Okay, you see? See the little air bubble? But we're gonna decorate that, you know, so... Uh, it's not a big thing. See? This is the bottom. And this is the... The slit. Where the uh, hair clip is gonna go through. Okay? And this is the top. Um... To get rid of these little bubbles, what I could just uh, take a, a pin and make a little indentation so that the air could come out, you know. Let's see how it comes out, you know. I'm going to try to cover it up, you know. But anyway, okay, so we're going to do the next step, which is uh to embellish the hair clip with the red electrical tape i hope i have enough you know because sometimes you don't have enough of the tape you want put it that way oh God. You know? let's try to see it has to be four Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have to cut enough so that it could, so I could tape it around. Okay, so let's see, like this, like this, okay, and like that. Okay, that's good enough. And then, after I cut one that I think is um, the perfect size, then I'll cut the other one, the other three strips, um, the same size. Now, I'm going to fold this in half, trying to make sure it's folded right in the middle. Okay. Okay, let's see. It's not easy. Okay, like that. Okay, let's see. Okay. I think that's good enough. Oh. No. I'm not gonna do that. Mm. Has to be very particular about things. It has to be perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. See? There is one strip. I have to make. Uh, three more strips and I'll be back okay hi I'm back okay I cut out the strips that I needed from the electrical tape and I folded them in half okay now see now what I'm gonna do is put them where I want them to go okay and uh, let's see uh oh Oh, shit.
Okay, let me see. Oh, I want it to be exactly like this one. Okay, so. I have to put the tape, the red tape, exactly the same distance as this one is so that they could be, so that the two hairpins, so that the two hair um, pin casing are the same. And I believe that's good enough. It don't have to be exactly the same, but it should be... Uh, It should be um, somewhat the same, okay? Okay. Like that. Like that. Are you seeing me? Okay. See? Like that. Just gonna do that. Okay. Let's see that. Okay. Okay, I'm just holding this in place. Okay, now. Uh oh. You didn't come out right. See? Come out a little bit. Let me see if I can. Hold it. Downwards. Don't have any turn. Okay. Okay, it's okay like that. See? Now. Now, you know what I'm doing. So. I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to continue uh, putting the red tape where I want it to be. And then I'll be back. Okay? Okay. Um, I'm not finished yet. The last part I have to do is put um, transparent tape over it so that it could be shiny. Like this one. This one is the one that... Um, I have made. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, this one is the one that I have made. You know? Okay. Let's see. See how shiny it is? Nice and shiny. Because of the um, transparent tape. It's real pretty. Now, this one is the one that we made together. See? See? Now it's shining in the back because I had to put tape, transparent tape, uh, to hold the red um, electrical tape in place so that it won't come off. But look, it's just exactly the same. Isn't it pretty? I think it's very pretty. If you ask me. See? Okay, now what I'm going to do is put the transparent tape and we'll be finished with this um craft okay okay hi i'm back okay so we finished with the uh, set for one of the clips we made okay now look at that you pretty can you see let me see you pretty i think it's let me see uh, Come on. Come on, Just like this. Put it in the back now. See? See the pretty? I think that's so beautiful. See? Okay. Now you could do the same thing. You could decorate it as you wish. Like I said, you could cover the um, 
bendable cardboard with um, either um, duct tape or um, contact paper. Okay? And, uh, and as well, you know, to make it shiny, you, you have to use transparent tape. Okay? And that's it. You know? And if also, these are like, or I will use it on each side of your hair. Okay? But um, you could also, if you want, you know, you could also use it on the back of the hair. And if you if you want to make it bigger, you could do so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe as big as two of these, you know. It will look nice. You could put it on the back of your hair. Anyway, so this is one of the... Um, <clears throat> Um, how do you call this is one of the craft we are gonna be making today or we made today now the second one if we have time I'll try to do it as fast as I'm able to because I don't want uh, my um, video to run out is the earring okay so let's do this fast <clears throat> I'm gonna make the set I'm gonna make the red because I want it to go with the pin with the hair clip. Okay. Okay, so let me look for a red. Okay, here. See? Okay. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do first is straighten the um paper clip. Okay. Straighten the very carefully. Okay, straighten it out, straighten it out, okay, try to straighten it out as best as you're able to, as straight as possible, okay, 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 uh -oh. like this, is it? Mm. Okay, so it will be like this, and let me see, see that, I straightened that out, see, and I left one side um, without um, straightening, you know, without straightening, as you can see, see, there's two. Just two bend it as you can see, right? Just this one and this one. So one side you have to live as is, okay? Don't straighten it. Because it's gonna be this side, the one that's uh bend it. You, you you're gonna be cutting it. You you, you know you you're gonna be cutting the the plastic that covers okay um the wire so that it the wire could be exposed so that that part that you cut out the plastic that you cut out from the wire is gonna be the part that's gonna go through your pierced ear okay so now let me see if I could I'm just measuring okay you see that now what I'm gonna do is Bend it this way. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay. Okay. Now like that. See that? See what I did? See that? That's what I did. Now. And then. This part. You have to straighten it. Like that. Like that, you see? See? See that? Eventually, you you know you're gonna need to cut part of the wire because it's too long for it to go through your ear spears. But this side here, this part here, you you have to bend in a circle, like so. So, you know, you could use whatever, 
um, uh, that's round. Where is it? I had something here. Oh God, so it's something. Okay, let's just use this. But I have something else. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna pause the camera and I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, it's taking the shape of the earring of this one. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is cut out, remove the plastic covering from here, okay? From here, like so. See that? Okay, so what you need is one of these. <sighs> Things here. Yeah? Wire cutter. Let me see. But when you cut the plastic, try to make sure. You don't put too much pressure because if you put too much pressure, then you're going to be cutting the wire. You know, all you, all you want is just to cut for now the, the plastic. See? Now, now you can cut the rest of the wire or part of the wire, you know. Now, let's see. Okay, I'm just measuring. Okay, here. So, this side, you know? Okay. Okay, now. Okay. Mm. See, as you can see, it's finished. It's the same. You see? Okay. This is the one we made. Okay, before. I mean, this is the one I showed you. Okay. And this is the one that we make now. See? It's the same. See? I only had one backing, so I just... Um, one of them doesn't have the backing part. But this is how it is. Okay? Okay? Now, these are the earrings. Now... We already did uh, both projects. We did the um, hair clip um, cover, as you can see. Okay, and the earrings to go for it, to go with. See, any pretty? Okay. Alrighty, so this is our project. I hope you liked it. You know, and um, we're finished. So I'm going to see you, okay, till next time, okay? Um, maybe next time I'll do something nicer, you know? Okay, so I see you. I bid you um, good evening. And uh, this is Bruna Roy Crafty Hands. Bruna Roy Crafty Hands. I see you. Bye. Take care.